You know, when I first saw this comedian, it was his appearance in the producers as the uh, lead in the Springtime for Hitler <laughs> comedy play as LSD. Again, in the producers. Now, I got to know him better over the years as a stand-up comedian, one of the most intelligent in what I call non-secular comedians of all time, observational and humor that has to be seen to be believed. His appearances on The Tonight Show drew so much laughter, and he wasn't telling one-liners. He wasn't a Henny Ugman. He wasn't a Roddy Dangerfield. He was Dick Shaw. Now, the the aspects of his life and de- death have entertainment underlined. Now, born Richard Schulfand, uh in uh, Buffalo, he was an American actor and comedian. He played a wide variety of supporting roles and was a prolific character actor, everything from Trees Company to movies, all kind of different things. During the 60s, he played small roles in madcap comedies, usually portraying characters of counterculture personalities, such as the hedonistic but mother-obsessed Sylvester Marcus in The Mad, Mad, Mad World and the hippie actor Lorenzo St. Dubois, LSD and The Producers. Has to be seen to be believed. He was robbed of an Oscar nomination. Besides his film work, he appeared in numerous TV shows from the 60s through the 80s. Now, born in Buffalo but raised in nearby Lackawanna, Sean performed his stand-up comedy act for 35 years in nightclubs around the world. He's award-winning one-man stage show, the second greatest entertainer in the whole wide world, was sometimes performed with a unique opening. When the audience entered the theater, he saw a bare stage with a pile of bricks in stage center. When the play began, Sean emerged from the pile of bricks. The startling effect of this required complete concentration and brick control because the slightest movement of the bricks could ruin the surprise appearance. In addition to the roles of more than 30 movies and seven Broadway productions, he made TV appearances, toured often, and periodically performed a one-man show to mix songs, sketches, and pantomime. He was a speaker at the Fires Club roles in L.A. and New York and had one of the X-rated roles, an 86 Playboy roles of all people, Tommy Chong, that had overdosed on taste of routines by previous speakers. Sean walked up to the microphone, took a long pause, and vomited pea soup onto himself and other speakers at the dais. In the Mel Brooks 67 movie, The Producers, Sean won tremendous accolades for his portrayal of Lorenzo St. Dubois, whose friends call him LSD an actor auditioning for and winning the part of Hitler in a theatrical production that was intentionally uh, may have meant to fail. Not to give away the movie, but you haven't seen it before. His, uh, his knee-high boots are worth the price of admission, the LSD scene. <laughs> Sorry, I can't, I can't laugh a little bit. Just thinking of great scenes. Now, he appeared on numerous variety shows, including Ed Sullivan Show, as well as TV movies, sitcoms, and he played Trees Company's father, uh, of Jack Tripper uh, for, I think, one or two episodes. Drams included St. Elsewhere, Elsewhere, Magnum P.I., and a music video for Dance by the hair metal band Rat, which came out in 86. In the U.K., he appeared in, in Sunday Night at the London Palladium in 1958. And ironically, his son-in-law is Joy Travolta, John's, uh, John's relation. Now, amongst his roles in anthology TV series, besides Amazing Stories and uh, Twilight Zones, he also uh, was in The Emperor's New Clothes for Shelley Duvall's Fairy Tale Theater. He also filled in for vacationing Johnny Carson as a guest host on The Tonight Show on January 1st, 71, which saw the airing of the last cigarette commercial on American television for Virginia Slims, one minute before the cigarette ads were banned. Of course, that ad featured the great Veronica Hamill of St. Elsewhere. Now, ironically, uh, the... Uh, his passing is also great knowledge amongst Hollywood, and, uh, and I wish to say it was a good way for him to go out. Now, he had married his wife, Rita, in 46, and he had four children. Now, his, uh, his child, baby, Wendy, was married to John Travolta's older brother, Joy Travolta, and uh, he was a longtime resident of the great community of Englewood, New Jersey. Now, he passed away in unforeseen circumstances on April 1787 during a performance at University of California, uh, Mandeville Hall in San Diego. He suffered a massive heart attack and collapsed face down on the stage. The audience initially assumed that it was part of his act, but after he had remained motionless on the stage for several minutes, a stage hand examined him and asked if a physician was. Again, the stage hand asked if a physician was present. 
Now, after CPR had been initiated, the audience was asked to leave the auditorium. Most in attendance remained, still assuming that it was all part of Sean's act and only began leaving after paramedics arrived. A notice in the following day's San Diego Union newspaper announced that Sean had died during a performance at the age of 63. Sean has been interred at the Hillside Memorial Park, a Jewish cemetery in Culver City, California. Now, uh, Andy Coffin has been uh, credited as being a big fan of of uh, Dick Sean. And actor Matthew Glaive actually portrayed Sean in Leave and Laugh, and Leave Him Laughing, a short film surrounding his final moments. Now, the free association that he had, you had this whole skit, I think it was on Canadian TV with it, about a football game and that you don't need, like, you know, so many yards wide because if they're all gay, they can just line up in each other and go hike. But like I, like I said, he would start on, on an idea and start with a non sequitur, like saying, before I got here, it was snowing beach balls, but it, it turned into bowling balls. And you're looking like, what the hell does this have to do with, with what I'm seeing? Like I said, not really a Jewish comedian per se, but almost like, if you're on drugs, you'd get it. But if you're off drugs, you're laughing your head off. Now, uh, in the movies, uh, quite a quite a bit, actually. Uh, the Opposite Sex, Wake Me When It's Over. The Wizard of Baghdad is a mad, mad, mad world. A very special favor. What Do You Do in a War Daddy? Way, way out. Penelope. The Producers, his big break, of course. The Happy Ending, Looking Up. Love at First Bite, Goodbye Cruel World. Rock and Roll Hotel, The Young Warriors, Angel. The Secret Diary of Sigmund Freud. Water, beer, the check is in the mail, the perils of PK, Captain Neo, and the short film, of course, with Michael Jackson, Made to Order, and Rented Lips. On TV, uh, Max Lieben Spectators, Max Lieben Prevents Kaleidoscope, Presents Kaleidoscope, Ed Sullivan Show, Andy Fisher Show, Dinosaur Chevy Show, G Theater, Checkmate, The DuPont Show with June Allison, Michael Shane, Jimmy Dean Show, Jerry Lou Show, Julie Garland Show, The Price is Right. Tonight show starring Johnny Carson between 64 and 86, 30 to 8 appearances. For the People, The Annie Williams Show, The Bob Hope Show, ABC Stage 66, Sheriff Who, Off to See the Wizard, That Girl, The Lucy Show, What's My Line, That's Life, The Joan River Show, The Liberace Show, Dames at Sea, The Bold Ones and New Doctors, The Hollywood Squares, for three episodes, Evil Roy Slade, The Love American Style, CBS Daytime 90, $10,000 Pyramid, The Year Went Out Santa Claus, Medical Center, Captain Kangaroo, You're Just Like My Father, Mary, Skit Characters on Nitro, Fast Friends, Laverne and Shirley, Fantasy Island, Mr. and Mrs. Dracula, Aloha Paradise, The Love Boat, Three Episodes, Private Benjamin, Slapstick Studios, Magda P.I., Trees Company, uh, Legman, Steam Bath, The Fall Guy, Body Language, Tales from the Dark Side, Hail to the Chief, Fairy Tale Theater, The Twilight Zone, uh, St. Elsewhere Amazing Stories, and on Broadway, of course, For Heaven's Sake, Mother, Come Blow Your Horn, uh, The Egg, A Funny Thing Happened in the Way uh, to the Forum, where he replaced Zero Mostel, Fade Out, Fade In, where he replaced Jack Cassidy, Peter Pat, I'm Solomon, and a Music Jubilee as a performer. Ladies and gentlemen, a stage star, a comedy star, a musical star. What a life that Dick Sean had. Um, and, you know, he, if he would have seen the 1990s, he would probably be, would have done a soap opera. But Dick Sean, what really stood out for me, the stage was his canvas, and he was an artist. And a lot of people credit Lenny Bruce, uh, Jackie Jackie Mason, Jackie Gleason, Dangerfield, Henny Youngman, you know, uh, Andrew Dice Clay later on, Sam Kinison. He was a rock and roll comic, but he was more, like, subtle. He wouldn't hit you over the head with the guitar, say, like, the Who, but you have to, there's a Tonight Show appearance before he died. Uh, if you can find it on, uh, I think it was 63 or 64 at the time, if you can find it. Johnny Carson is laughing that much. It's kind of like he's his own laugh track. Johnny loved Dick Sean. And, uh, you know, I think of any permanent guest host for the show, uh, I think maybe in a lot of ways when Dick passed away, he saw nobody could really take over that style because he was a skit, skit, sketch comedian. And an all around, like I know we wrote a lot, a lot of his own stuff, is just tremendous. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the story of uh, the late Dick Sean, never to be forgotten. If you're a Dick Sean fan, let us know if you ever saw him in concert, and that's what it was a cerebral concert. Let us know with a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And don't forget, if you're going to go out laughing, leave with a smile.